If you own a lecture golf cart and you don't have batteries for it or the batteries are dead, then today I'm going to show you how to make a 14 series 10 parallel lithium ion battery pack. First we will start by salvaging a battery pack from a electric scooter. Then we will disassemble the battery pack in order to be able to have use of the cells. A BMS is mandatory when it comes to making a battery pack, thus we will save it for a future battery pack project. After removing the nickel strips that makes the connection, the batteries have successfully been salvaged. In order to know if the batteries are good or bad, we're gonna do a capacity test on all the cells. We begin by putting the batteries to charge. After it has been fully charged, it's time to put it in the capacity tester. A capacity tester is a device that will discharge a battery to a set voltage and monitor the current. After the capacity test is done, the cell will get labeled with its capacity. For the final touch, the cell will be thrown back to the charger to fully charge itself. After doing a capacity test and salvaging some more batteries from some battery packs and getting 140 good cells and some bad ones, we're ready to move on to the battery holder assembly. The battery holder is assembled with lots of puzzle-like pieces. After all the battery holders are assembled, it's time to put all the batteries onto the battery holder. A second battery holder will be placed over the batteries to keep it from wobbling. In order to be able to weld the series or parallel connection, I made a spot welder. The spot welder relies on a Arduino Nano which turns on a MOSFET that turns on a relay and then turns on a 100 to 3 transformer for a set amount of time. First we start by measuring the parallel part of the battery and then cut some nickel strips to the exact size.
After all the nickel strips are ready, we set the on time to 60 milliseconds, then start spot welding. After finishing the parallel connection, we head over to the series connection. After finishing the 7S 10P battery pack, I went ahead and made a second one. Now it's time to combine the two 7S battery packs to get a total of 14S, aka 58.8 volts. Now this is a 10S BMS and we're gonna use two of it. To understand how a BMS works, we need to take a look at three lithium-ion 18650 cells. The first battery is rated at 2080 mAh, the second one is rated at 1950 mAh, the third battery is rated at 2000 mAh. Now if we connect a charger that has 12.6 volts, we would end up with the first battery being at 4 volts, the second battery being at 4.5 volts, then the third battery being at 4.1 volts, more or less. Now if you feature a BMS into the system, all the batteries would balance out to 4.2 volts. In short, it's very important. First, we'll start by applying some solder to each cell. Then connect the wires from the BMS to the batteries. The battery pack will be insulated by three thin pieces of paper to make a thick piece of paper. To join the three pieces of paper, we're gonna use some double sided tape.
to the outputs will be connected a 10 gauge stranded wire. For the charger's output will be connected a 15 amp fuse for safety. In series with the fuse will be connected a wire that will lead to a XD60 connector for the charging. For the enclosure, I went ahead and 3D printed a box with a handle. After the print is done, all that's left to do is to remove the supports. Before shoving the battery pack into the enclosure, we're gonna install the handle. To secure the XD60 connector, we're going to use some UV resin and then cure it with some UV light. To insulate the battery pack from vibration, we're going to stick on some rubber through double sided foam tape. Now it's finally time to push the battery pack into the enclosure. In order to be able to put a cover onto the box, we're gonna insert some brass nut insertions. Electric golf carts will sometimes be left outside in the rain, thus we're gonna waterproof the battery pack. Time to close the box. To indicate which terminal is negative and which one is positive, we're gonna print some labels. Before moving on, it's important to test the battery. After letting the silicon dry overnight, the battery pack is finally ready to go into the golf cart. The battery pack is temporarily secured with a bungee strap. 
the negative cable from the golf cart will be connected to the negative terminal to the battery pack. The positive terminal from the battery pack will be connected in series to 300 amp fuse to the golf cart. All done and time for a test ride. If you like this video then please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell in order not to miss any of my new videos.